Alrighty, everybody, this will be a model review of the new Diecast Masters D6. This is the normal version, not the XE LGP model. Um, getting in, before I get in with the model, I will show you the box. Here's the box. Once I get it focused um, with the specifications and a picture of the real machine. And then I'll flip it over and show you the front side of the dozer. It's a picture of it pushing dirt, so without the sweeps. Anyway, so getting into the functionality of the model. Your blade sits flush with the ground. It does not cut at all. It leans forward just a little bit, but it has a stiff arm, so it prevents it from leaning too much. Your height that it, you can achieve with this goes to about there, which is decent. As you can see, the cylinders uh, have plenty more to go up inside, so it's lacking in that aspect. It definitely could have gone higher. So anyway, that's the functions. And then you have the ripper. The ripper is actually good as far as your cutting. You can see it lifts the back end of the dozer up, so that, that is good. It doesn't sit flush with the table like a lot of other dozer models in the past have. And then your rippers, as you can see on mine, I have two shanks on them. They are removable with pins. That is a pro and a con. Gives you options on how you want to display it. However, they fall out very easily, and if you're not careful, you can lose the rippers very easily. And I don't know if Diecast Masters would be able to send you a replacement. So I do have the the third one on mine. It's just I've decided for this review and also just for display, since I have other dozers that don't uh, have a double shank ripper, they have three shank, just have something different. So getting now into the detail, we'll start with the cutting edge. Okay, as you can see, you have bolt detail on your cutting edge right here. And then it's painted really well on the front. You have the new cat emblem, which is growing on me. Uh, it's definitely different. I have not seen the machine in real life, so I'm kind of on the fence whether I love or hate the, lo the new logo. Um, you have your black cylinders, you're painted in lights. And getting to the side, you can see there's hydraulic lines in there. They are rubber and they flex, which is good. You have your stiff arm right here for the blade and all your pins are painted yellow. You have a pick point right there that is actually drilled through. You have a step that is textured, it's metal. Your tracks are single grouser metal, skinnier than the uh, LGP version, but that's, that's what they're supposed to be. You have two metal handrails to help you climb up onto the track to get into the cab. This is also metal right here. Anti-slip texture on the walker right, right there. This is decaled in right here, but it does have a little bit of texture to it. And you have the new D6 logo. So, the tracks, the frames anyway. You have bolt detail on the rollers, or I meant on the sprocket, and then your rollers are casted in to the model, just like normal. Uh, this one up here is not. It does roll, but the ones on the bottom are casted in. Which for most cat dozers is, is normal, like with the D6T and some other models in the past we have seen, so I wouldn't really be expecting anything different in that aspect. Something that a lot of people are either gonna like or hate, and probably I could see in the future keeping on or off, is the sweeps. And that is something this dozer has in real life, but as you can see from the picture, you can also have it without. I like it. I've done some customs to some of my other dozers to have this put sweeps on, so I'm gonna keep them on my model. They are plastic, and they are very flexible, as you can see, you barely touch it, and they flex. So it's a very thin plastic, which is kind of a bummer. It would've been nice if it was at least metal or something, but you get what you get. So these, these handrails right here are metal. You have a stiff, plastic air cleaner and your exhaust on this side is also plastic. The exhaust is definitely an interesting design and that's just what the dozer in real life is. It's interesting how it just kind of bends. 
um, and then it's just doesn't have a cover on the top so rain and stuff could get it in the exhaust in real life but like I said that is just the real machine so anyway getting to the back you have your cat emblem you have another ladder that folds down hits the ripper so you can't bring it down all the way but it's nice that it's there and that it folds and then you have your ripper with your teeth and the teeth pin in like I said something I don't really care for on the model because uh, it could fall out and lose it so the new cat emblem again then you have this bar that runs across the back and it's metal your little reflectors another cat emblem and this side of the machine is the exact same thing and something else you have is you have little decals on the frames themselves which is very nice touch so the new the cab has cat written on the seat it is painted gray and black in the inside and you do have decaling on the center consoles so that is a very nice touch with this model getting to the top you have a simulated let's, there we go air conditioning up here and then you have you can see kind of the the hydraulic lines and more of the complexity of the ROPS and the exhaust system and everything so that's the top view bottom is nothing special but it gives you more of a detail of the bottom of the blade and the hydraulics again. So the tracks on mine do not articulate um, like they do on the LGP version. So, uh, but I don't know if that's just mine or all of them total. So I'll just be giving my final thoughts on this dozer and concluding up the review. So do I recommend this model? Yes, I do. I think for this year, between the models that have come out from Diecast Masters, this is definitely one of the three that I was excited for that was announced and it definitely did not disappoint. The only thing for me, besides the functionality of the blade that is kind of a downfall for me, is the ripper. I do not like that the, sh that the, that the shanks are removable. They're so small, they're easy to lose, and I do not know if Diecast Master stocks extra. So if you lose them, you're probably, you'll either have to buy another one or maybe they'll send you some if you're lucky. I don't like them, other people probably do like them, so that is up to the collector. I do re I do recommend this model once it becomes available in the States to anybody who wants to buy a new D6 size dozer, especially the LGP dozer, and these both look really well together as a set. Um, I'm also a very big fan of the new design of these dozers, especially with the new cab design. I do like that they have done away with the ROPs that go over the top. You add, it adds more visibility and so not that I hated like the D6T, I love the D6T and the design of it, but this is definitely something new and it looks great. So that will conclude the review of this dozer. Pick one up when you can get it. I will talk to you later. Have a good day. Bye-bye.